Hello there guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patricia and today I want to talk about enjoying luxury and affording expensive items and not allowing the Bottega lifestyle to make you broke, okay? In all honesty, I've been loving seeing so many amazing women enjoying luxury items, luxury experiences, luxury products and being unapologetic about enjoying these things. However, what I wanted to do today was to actually kind of turn the coin and actually talk about ways to genuinely afford this kind of lifestyle because I think sometimes you can see on the outside like the showing of these things but there isn't often the true story on how people may actually be able to afford and get those items that are shared so widely and I'm going to share a bit about like how I've done that and um what I have kind of dealt with when it comes to like you know saving investing making money and that kind of stuff and if you guys don't know I have a channel that is all about finance, investing, property, all that kind of jazz because I'm not gonna lie, I'm a top nerd and I love that kind of stuff. And so I have another platform where I just make it all about that. But I thought I would like let the two worlds collide over here today because I love a Chanel bag as much as I love budgeting. So we're gonna get into it. And I would love to say thank you to our sponsors today, Clearco, but more on that in a minute. So when it comes to enjoying the luxury lifestyle, I think that there are lots of different definitions of what luxury is to you or to someone else. And I think it's really important to make sure that you define what luxury actually means to you as an individual. And it may be the new Chanel bag or some new clothing or, you know, the next latest gadget or it might be peace of mind it might be free time it might be relationships that are not toxic so i think it's really important to define what you want out of a luxury lifestyle and luxury experiences and things not everybody's taste is good taste okay so you need to work out what yours actually is as a first point of call let's get practical how to actually afford the luxury items okay yeah you, you worked it out you know what luxury is to you and guess the luxuries i want the chanel high bag fine okay fine right here's how to afford it so the first thing you want to do is think about budgeting and i know some people cringe at the idea of budgeting okay but i'm obsessed with budgeting i have a budgeting sheet a budgeting download that over twenty thousand people have downloaded okay there is something in this budgeting template that i really think is very valuable and i did a video all about how i budget my minimal salary bearing in mind my definition of a minimum salary is different to other people's definition of a minimum salary but i did share a video on exactly how i budget my salary and how i kind of um, you know, spend and allocate my money that also allows me to enjoy a couple of luxuries here and there. So what budgeting does is it allows you to identify what your income is versus your expenses. And your expenses are things that are like must and things that you have to pay for. And at the end of you doing this kind of tracking, you'll be able to identify what's really good. I think a lot of people don't actually have a true grip of their finances. They don't have a good idea of, you know, what the checks and balances are. They don't know what why they may not have enough money at the end of the month. They may not know exactly how they're using the excess cash that they do have and they feel broke every single time, even though they know they have some income coming in. And so I love budgeting because it gives you a cold, hard look at where your money is actually going. And by the time you kind of do what I call, which is like a projection, when I have a projected budget, which I do for on a yearly basis, I'm able to see like what potentially I could have at the end of the year to spend and enjoy. And and um, if I don't have that, there's clearly a problem. And I think budgeting just gives you that exposure around your finances and allows you to build a habit that lets you see, okay, let me track what's going on. And what you'll see at the end of a budget is if you have extra to enjoy. And if you do have extra to enjoy, you can um, allocate some of that money to afford luxury items or save up a pot and buy a luxury item at the end of a period of time. Or it could be daily if you wanted to, it's really up to you. Budget gives you a transparency on the truth around your finances and when you have the truth around your finances you're able to decide how much you want to allocate to that luxury lifestyle it will also allow you to identify if you don't have enough money okay to be doing this okay <laughs> 
And I think that I can say budget all you like, but I know a lot of people ask the next question, which is how do I actually make more money or extra money to be able to afford those luxury items and to have some extra money after I budget? So making more money. I'm not gonna say I've cracked the code, but I really have identified that there are key ways that people actually make more money. People and businesses can make more money. And so I've come up with like four or five different ways that people do make money. The one is by creating value. This is making people's lives better in some sort of ways. That, so for instance, say Uber, um, back in the day, being able to book a, a, a car really quickly on the go on your phone was adding value. It was saving people time. And it used to be kind of cheap, so it was also saving people money in comparison to the old forms of taxi systems. Now, Uber's a hot mess at this point in time, so you know we're not gonna talk about that. But the principle of creating value is a really important thing when it comes to making more money. Number two is to solve a problem. So if you are able to come up with an idea that solves a problem in for someone on the small scale or solves a problem for the entire world, you can make a lot of money doing that. If I am able to buy a product that actually helps treat my acne, they have helped me. They've solved a problem for me. So I'm gonna pay them for them doing that. So if you're able to identify a way that you can solve a problem, again, small scale or big, you have the opportunity to make money doing that. You can also provide a skill, which comes again to like my Excel example. But for instance, if you are able to perform, sing, dance, um, be a flipping carpenter or do some electrician stuff, I don't know. But some things like that are specific skills that have a premium associated with them. If you are skillful at certain things, people are going to pay you for that skill. But what you probably need to do is be able to market that to actually let people know about the amazing skills that you have. And then there's also this concept of notoriety as well. I think people nowadays are able to make money from notoriety and having fame and having attention. Yes, attention nowadays does definitely bring the moolah in. And I'm not, again, mad at that. If you wanna build a profile, you could definitely break in the coins. So when it comes to making more money, yes, you can start a business. Now I know starting a business is not for everyone, but I do know it is for some, and nowadays it is easier than ever. I have been able to actually be able to generate more wealth by starting multiple different businesses, including e-commerce businesses. And I know so many girls and women who are so interested in doing this, but don't necessarily feel like they have the opportunity or the access, particularly to capital and this is why I want to talk about my sponsors Clearco who I think are going to literally transform the game for so many people because they are giving capital growth capital to founders who need the money to make stuff happen if you are a business and turn over 10k per month with a six month revenue history Clearco may be the perfect partner for you without taking any equity it's mind-blowing especially if you're someone who doesn't have access to investors or rich people, but you have great products, great ideas, and you wanna make something happen and you need money to scale. So Clearco are the largest e-commerce investors in the world, and they let you own 100% of your business. They also use data to identify growth opportunities and are able to turn around funding opportunities in less than 24 hours. I have learned that the importance of having funding and having support is essential if you wanna actually grow and scale. And I think there are lots of women, particularly black women, who haven't had access to some of these opportunities, who didn't know that they could actually get money to fund their ideas or to push their businesses further. And a company such as Clearco is here and available to provide those funding opportunities. It's literally mind blowing. No equity, no personal guarantees and no interest. Wow. Now I'm focusing specifically around e-commerce as I've been able to make some side money when it comes to some e-commerce brands that I've launched in the past that are very, very low key, but I have like, documented the fact that I've been making money from doing that in the past. And I know that money is required to scale when it comes to actually bringing a product to life. But when it comes to people actually wanting to be able to make more money, I think e-commerce nowadays is much easier to actually do something and create something amazing and provide those principles that I discussed 
discussed earlier to a customer base who want what you have on offer. And even with me, when I actually created like digital planners and online planners and physical planners, I didn't realize how much that process would cost me. I'm talking 48 to 50,000 pounds to get some planners into the country. And there are lots of different things that you kind of come up against when it comes to actually bringing product in and dealing with e-commerce in general that take you by surprise. And I think a lot of people have struggled when it comes to building businesses because some of these costs, they kind of eat into their lives, eat into their opportunity, and it's hard to hack it. But ClearCo is really cool because it's able to actually provide the founders with the funding that they need to take things to the next level and thus make more money and then thus maybe afford more luxury items. However, I do find that people who are interested in building a business or building a brand, maybe the luxury for them is actually having a bit more time to focus on their dreams and to focus on their ideas and get their product and their e-commerce business to life. So I'll have a link in the description bar below where you can check them out. If selling and creating your own product and like building a business feels so crazy and so impossible, that's absolutely fine. If you wanna make more money to buy some luxury here and there, you can sell someone else's product and someone else's service and you don't actually have to do the middle bit if you don't want to. And you can do that by being an affiliate. You can sell products as a middleman and receive a commission off the top of that. But often if you wanna become an affiliate, you really do need to have like a platform and an audience to make that happen unless you have an amazing social network and you are able to kind of sell towards the people that you know around you. So the next way you can make more money is actually to negotiate your salary. I think sometimes people don't know that they have an extra five to 10 grand sitting right in front of them if they have the balls and the confidence to make it known to whoever they work with that they are deserving of more. And I know it feels really hard to be able to negotiate your salary and it feels hard to like be able to, to justify that request. And some people don't necessarily have the confidence to, um, to actually make that request quest but you don't need to be scared to do that and I think it's really important particularly nowadays to be truthful when it comes to the working environment and if you want those new pair of shoes you may need to ask your boss to pay for them and I'm not just saying that you would negotiate your salary because you want shoes but maybe if that's what you want you can do that on a serious note though when it comes to negotiating your salary particularly like a boss you really want to have a plan in place you want to one have some kind of metric data to explain to whoever the higher management is that you are deserving of a raise. You want to talk about what contributions that you have made and how your value can be attribu attributed to the business or the service that you are in. This might sound really, really crazy, but we did a post on this on my other page about leaving your job to earn more money. And I know that it's very scary for people who've been at a job that they think is their all in all, but I have found that people who make the jump across are able to increase their salary significantly because sometimes at your own place of work people do not appreciate you until you are gone and people are desperate for someone new to come in and support them having the confidence to make a jump across to another industry more than likely may actually result in a salary increase and I've seen this anecdotally happen quite a few times so if you've had the experience of quitting a job and actually earning more money when you've moved over let us know in the comments so we can have the confidence that yeah, this could happen for all of us. So obviously if you're able to quit your job, move across, uh, have a huge salary jump or even a minor salary jump, you may wanna use that towards buying a couple of luxury items. Next thing you can do is you can ask others. If you are really interested in a bag or, or a holiday or something, you can ask your friends and family to pull together to give it to you. And I think that if you think about the amount of gifts you may receive when it comes to birthdays, Christmases, celebrations, or special occasions, you know what? There, you can just ask for money. Like, I know this sounds really crazy, but you can ask for like a pot and say, Do you know what? I really want this bag. I know that you're not able to buy me this bag or buy me these shoes, but I'd love if the money that you were going to give me for a special occasion, if you could be put it into a pot so it could be um, like my dream bag pot or my dream luxury item pot. I don't think there's any harm in asking people um, what kind of gift you actually want. But but maybe I'm a bit more brazen that I actually tell people I don't want gifts. I usually like people to come around me and I hate receiving gifts. But if you're someone who receives gifts, 
why not answer for like the gift that you actually want or at least a contribution towards the gift that you actually want if you are interested in purchasing a luxury item but you know that you don't have the resources to do that so i want to caveat this video by saying i know that luxury items are not an essential okay they're not that, that's the whole, whole thing a luxury is a non-essential but they are sometimes nice to have and i do know that they do give people joy for like a short amount of time and it's really important to recognize that things don't necessarily make you happy as a human being but it can be cute to have and cute to look at and know that you've achieved something to be able to maybe get one of those things so again as i said define what luxury means to you work harder if you want to ask someone to give it to you or you might want to become a sugar baby guys i hope you enjoyed that video i just wanted to give a bit of insight into how you may be able to afford a luxury item as i've seen this trending everywhere however again i do have a channel that is all about like finances and investing all that kind of stuff which actually may go more granular into the actual affordability of certain things and budgeting and saving and investing in detail so i hope you enjoyed that video but in the meantime i will see you all later